Health news here. One in three patients who dies in a hospital has sepsis. That coming from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. As part of our Ask the Expert series in partnership with Bon Secours St. Francis Health, 7 News' is Jennifer Martin talks to a sepsis coordinator about how to recognize the symptoms. I see it almost every day and was completely shocked that it actually happened to me. Nursing director Stacy Urich is trained to recognize the symptoms of sepsis in patients, but after having surgery to remove kidney stones, she noticed a drop in her blood pressure, then this. I got up to go to the bathroom, came back to the bed, and had some uncontrollable shaking, um, some significant shortness of breath, and that's when we knew really it had started to cross over and started to decline quickly. It was sepsis, which according to the CDC, is the body's life-threatening reaction to an infection and begins outside the hospital for nearly 80% of patients. The definitive cure for the infection and sepsis is to treat the source. So if it's a bloodstream infection, the definitive cure is to find out the pathogen, the bacteria that's causing the infection and treat that with appropriate antibiotics. Nurse practitioner and sepsis coordinator Brandy Giles says recognizing the symptoms and getting to the hospital quickly is extremely important. Using the mnemonic of time, T for temperature. So if the temp your temperature is higher or lower than normal, um, I for an infection, because you have to have the infection to have sepsis, M for mental decline, so confusion or agitation, and E for extremely ill. It's most common in older adults, pregnant women, children under the age of one, and people with chronic conditions like diabetes. Yurik says she was lucky she acted quickly and has this advice for patients. Just really verbalize exactly how you're feeling. Um, and exactly the things you're noticing. To prevent infection, the CDC recommends staying on top of vaccines and chronic illnesses and practicing good hygiene with cuts. I'm Jennifer Martin, 7 News. If you'd like to hear more from the experts at Bon Secours on this topic and some more, listen every Saturday morning at 10 to 106.3 WORD. Remember, we want to hear your questions for this series. Go to WSPA.com, you click on Ask the Expert. Next on 7 News.